What's up guys, I'm Fire and today I got some Battlefield 4 on the PlayStation 4 gameplay to show you. And let's just look at this for a moment here. Look at this gameplay. It is gorgeous. It is amazing. I'm loving how the PS4 version looks. It looks very identical to the PC version unless you have the high-end PC stuff and then you're just like, there's a huge difference. But as of right now, it looks great and I'm loving it. I really am loving it, guys. It's a great, great game so far. Of course, there are some issues which I will be talking about and today I wanted to talk a little bit about Battlefield 4 and how everything is in the game because let's just admit that the game does have some issues. It's not perfect, but hey, it's not DICE's fault, it's EA's fault, let's just remember that. So just because of that reason, there are going to be issues and which is why I'm not all that pissed off compared to everyone else. I am a little mad when there's times such as the whole uh, instant death thing where it's like you shoot a few bullets and you instantly die because there are times when I have the first shot and I have the drop on someone and we both die because he shoots me a few times and I instantly die. Th yeah, that pisses me off a few times. It's not to the point where I'm just going to bash this game and say it's crap and, and go on a rampage and start going to play other games such as like Call of Duty or something. <laughs> well, that's a funny one. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's... That's my opinion. I love this game despite all the things wrong with it. There are a few things such as that I have not experienced any uh, frame drops from the PS4. I haven't experienced a lot of crashes. Yeah, every now and then I might lose connection to the game. But before the game got patched, there were a lot of issues. But after the patch, it actually got a lot better and I'm able to play the game a lot more. I do lose connection every now and then. And the game froze just one time after the patch. Just one time and compared to maybe two or three when I first played it before the patch but it got a lot better I'm loving how it is right now and I'm having a great time playing Battlefield 4 and I highly recommend to play this game despite all the things that people are saying because I think they're exaggerating on some parts but uh, for the most part I bet it's happening to a lot of people and I, I, ha I sympathize for those guys but um, I'm not experiencing that on the PS4 and I don't know about the Xbox One but I'm pretty sure that they're doing well too I hope. I have no hate for the Xbox One. I love it, Microsoft's Xbox but uh, I just didn't really have, uh, have that much of an interest in it when I first heard about it. Either way, it happened. Xbox One's out, PS4 is out, and we could all enjoy the next gen consoles. I love both and I will eventually have both, but as of right now, I got the PS4 and I'm loving it. Now, as far as Battlefield 4 as a whole, it's a great game. I don't know why a lot of people are bashing this in, in like every single post of, on Facebook, every single forum I'm seeing, there's somebody complaining and it's just like getting out of hand to the point it's like, why? Why? I don't get it. It's like, what happened to the whole Battlefield players are supposed to be uh, mature and I'm not seeing that. Uh, we're supposed to be the mature community and saying our concerns about the game rather than actually just bitching about it and causing a lot of trouble. And DICE of course is trying to patch all these things. They're making, uh, they patch the game. They're making China Rising which just came out which I just got. I'm actually downloading it right now as I'm making this commentary. So I have that up running and showing some PS4 gameplay in the future on it. I love this game and if you love this game too Express your love. Put it on the comments down below because it's awesome. I love this game so much and I'm having a great time playing it, especially sniping. That's something I want to talk about real quick before I leave. I uh, Sniping when I first played on, on the PS3, uh, playing on Battlefield 4 that is because I played B Battlefield 3 on the Xbox 360. But playing with a DualShock 3 controller, oh my gosh, that was terrible. I could not use that sniper at all. I was just like dying every single time that I at least get some kill streaks going, and it was bad. It was bad. But when I played the PS4 version, the controller is just so great. It has a lot better grips, and it has a curve on the bottom in order to fit with your hand, and it just feels a lot better th than the DualShock 3, and it just works very well with first-person shooters now. There is one thing that bothers me the most, is, is not being able to set up a squad in the main menus. Why on earth would DICE not want to do that? I do not know. Unlike in BF3 and all the other games be before it, you were able to create a squad and then join a game together with your friends. But if you want to play with your friends on, on BF4, it's difficult. I don't understand why DICE decided not to do this. A little feature that would give so much, like, people would be happy. 
it would be happy if they were to just do it. And I don't know why they didn't do that. So that, that's very questionable, and I wonder if they're ever going to actually put a patch in for this. Another thing that I, that bothers me is you die quick. That's all I gotta say. It's just, you die fast in this game. If you have slow reflexes, dude, you are not gonna make it because this game, you get a, f a few shots in, you're you are gonna die because these guns will kill really quick. Even sniping is a lot easier in this game. I, I In my opinion, it's a lot easier. It's still the same thing with two shots in the body, one shot in the head will get a kill. But of course, you have the certain guns such as the M98B that will get you a one-hit kill in the body at close range, such, and, some, such as that, for example. But there are times that even the bullet drop could be a very big issue because in the SV-98, which is my favorite sniper, my favorite gun, everything my favorite because I love this gun, but the bullet drop seems to be terrible on this gun. So I gotta just compensate for that. And there are some issues also with uh, air vehicles. Uh, people are talking about the stingers being a, ha a problem. I haven't really experienced a lot of problems with the stingers only because maybe I don't fly as much, but every time I do fly, I do get locked on a lot and I do get killed. And I can understand why people would start getting mad about that. But if you think about it, it's mostly just for balancing just so that way the air vehicles won't just dominate the battlefield every single game, which I've actually seen somebody do on the other team where we could not take them out even if we're using stingers. So it is possible. It is possible. And of course, people do not like that word of just adapt. People do not like that word. So that's what I'm going to have to say. You just have to adapt to it. Uh, it's the problem about Battlefield 4. It, it Balancing is a very difficult thing. And DICE is trying to do everything they can, in my opinion, to make this work in a way. I do not like how DICE decides to hold everybody's hand when it comes to jets, though, because if you're flying in a jet and you get near the your enemy's base or their flag area, you start getting hit by automatic turrets that just start shooting at you, and then you die and it says you were killed in action. And I'm like, are you hitting me? It's like, why? You couldn't, you couldn't like, put down the AA guns like in BF3 in order to keep the jets out from your base instead they do it automatically and you you just die anyway so I'm, I don't like how DICE decided to hold everybody's hand when it comes to uh, jets not being able to quote-unquote base rape everybody so they decided to just kill off any jet that gets near instead of having the player actually doing it themselves it is possible to take jets out with the AA gun so you just got to know what to do and that's the whole problem with this it is a giant learning curve in this game let me tell you it's a big learning curve but once you get past that, you're going to have a blast. And I'm having a great time playing this game. I hope you guys are too. And if you're still debating on getting this game, I, I suggest getting it. Because it's a great game, despite all the flaws. But it will be patched in the future. I promise you, it will be patched. It will eventually. But we just got to wait it out. And it will be great when it's completely ready. Hey, just remember EA. That's all you got to remember. It's EA. It's not DICE. It's EA. So I... I sympathize for DICE. I know how they're feeling when it comes to everybody just complaining about it. And they are going to get it done. They are. Just give them some time and it will be great when it's done. But overall, on the PS4 version, I can say it's an A+. It's great. Looks great. Plays great. Does great. That's what it is. So as always, guys, I'm Fire and I'll see you on the next one.